the story of when I started growing breast. My dad thought the mosquito bites on my chest were actually the result of bugs attacking me. He was a sweet and naive man. I thought it was the effect of some strange behavior from me. At eight years old, while playing house with my grandmother's cats, I attempted to breastfeed them. My dad set up a doctor's appointment and I feared the physician was all knowing. My dad and I worried about the diagnosis, but for different reasons. The doctor said, sir, your daughter is growing breast. I let out a sigh of relief, but I could read the panic on my dad's face. The first tug at the veil and my father realizes I won't be a little girl forever. My dad and I have faced a lot of firsts together. My first haircut, my first sleepover, my first blood-stained jeans, my first heartbreak, the first time our white picket fence became warped. My mom's departure forced my dad to build a home out of barbed wire. To my mom, I was an inconvenience. To my dad, a reason to be resilient. My father isn't perfect, but he took a black dad as a deadbeat narrative and formed his own truth. My dad got full custody of me from my white mom in the 90s in the South. His fight for me, its own revolution. My dad... My dad took on both parenting roles, demolished gender norms in his fatherhood, worked a 12-hour factory job, and still had time to make me breakfast in the morning. Part of my dad's existence was making sure I valued existing. He provided refuge when it felt like I couldn't escape the wreckage my mom left. And it feels like this poem is a war diary, a record of my dad facing every challenge thrown at him and still being alive to tell the tale. When I share the story of my dad and I learning I was growing breast. It's not a story of his incompetence. It's the effect of holding so much up for a person that certain things fall through the cracks. That taking me to the doctors in the first place was a testament to his love and concern. A funny anecdote for me was just another day of him surviving as a single black dad. And he never seemed tired. I hope he is healed from these battle wounds. And no. He never found out about the cat thing.